Okay Reddit, what just isn't worth the effort? Staying friends with people who don't put in any effort themselves. It's okay to lose friends. People drift apart. If you find it's always you who has to make the effort then maybe it's not worth the effort. Caring about what everyone else thinks. Someone will always have a criticism about what you do, believe, and love. Learning to honor yourself is incredibly freeing. The world keeps turning no matter what. Being in a relationship where your significant other isn't there for you. Never give them another chance or say. He slash she has changed. He slash she is to friend now. If they are abusive and they always come crawling back to you or they cheat on you and always crawl back to you. Ditch them, man. Get that negative shit out of your life. You're better than that. Never getting over that relationship you thought was the one. I was in your position 4 years ago, or was it 5? Who is counting? 7 year relations heat. Toxic and worthless. You're better off, it would have ended later, and it would have been even more devastating. What I did was, talk to my mother about it. It brought us closer together. She told me about my grandma, who was in a hospice. I started visiting her every week. My mother and my grandma were my go-to for emotional support. I started working out, exercise, made goals. I barely could run 100 yards. I did it every day. Picked up the guitar. Battled with depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, and a boatload of other mind battles day in and day out. It was so bad I became vegetarian and started meditating. There was not one day I did not think about her, what had happened, and how much of a scar it left with me. Always blaming myself, even when she was a manipulative wench. Made goals for myself. Started to hang out with friends. Pursued for a job. Trained to run a marathon. Got a motorcycle. Did what I wanted to do. I had so much time to myself it was great. I became a badass cool guy, but the thing was, I always felt like I wasn't enough. It was due to the fact that she kept putting me down all the times. She would bring up others. She eventually cheated, and now I couldn't even trust myself. Even though girls were coming at me, I never thought I was good enough. I failed to realize how much I was truly worth. Outside I was confident, inside I was small. Where I messed up was, forgetting how much you're worth. Even right now, you are an amazing person. Never forget. Start working on yourself. It is easy to fall into drugs. I know I did for a bit. But if you put your mind to it, you can overcome and transcend who you were before, and you'll look back and realize your own truth. I'll let you know something. There hasn't been one day where I have not thought about her. Now it's just disgust at what type of person she has become, but more importantly I don't have that squeeze in the chest when I hear her name. That pain deep down. I don't have that any longer. Even the thoughts are just thoughts to me, not affecting me throughout my day to day. It gets easier as time goes on. I hope you become the person you want to be in order for you to meet the person you are destined to meet. Through the ashes brings a more abundant foliage in forests. Count this as a blessing. It won't be easy, there'll be a lot of work, but by golly the light at the end of the tunnel is real. PM if you ever want to talk. Drug addiction. Take my word for it. Spending all that time and effort looking for your next fix and trying desperately to maintain control over your own emotions through drugs takes a lot of energy. If you just let go and stop trying so hard to hang on to that control you'll be so much happier. Once you go through the withdrawals anyway. Not that you'll be able to kick addiction until you're ready anyway, but it is a lot harder than most people give it credit for. I'm now sober 7 years. Correcting someone on Reddit. Someone. Damn it. No, he was talking about that one guy Simone. That you just can't take critique. Worrying about what others will think if you leave your job to take another one, whether internal or external. Step 1 on surviving the corporate culture is worry about yourself first and pursue the things you want, not what your peers want. This is exactly what's running through my mind right now. I've worked 3 years for a company that has pretty much taught me everything and now I'm evaluating if my future is here or somewhere else. I know they are going to talk if I leave, which I hate, but I need to start putting myself first. If a tree falls in a forest and you're not there to hear it because you're somewhere else making more money, do you even give a shit if it makes a sound? 
multi-level marketing, was work at home mine in a Starbucks last Friday and overheard a girl getting sucked into a pyramid scheme. She was talking to one guy and another guy was there observing learning how to indoctrinate his own victims. When she got up to leave, I followed her out to the parking lot and said, I'm so sorry for eavesdropping, but everything I heard sounds like a textbook pyramid scheme. I understand that I'm some stranger and you have no reason to listen to me, but please go home and do some research before you move any further. Then I wished her a good afternoon and went back inside. The two guys she was talking to had suddenly become about six guys. Turns out all the strangers sitting around the Starbucks doing their own thing were there to listen in. They were all there to learn how to recruit people. It was the creepiest fucking thing I've ever seen. You possibly saved a life. My sister learned the hard way with LuLaRoe and lost probably around $15,000 in unsellable, unreturnable and disgustingly ugly and tacky leggings. He absolutely did save a life and likely the lives of dozens of people around her. I say this as the son of someone who should be the god and patron saint of MLM slash pyramid scheme type businesses. To date, he's, my father, ran through at least four of them from what I can remember, Herbalife, some green tea one, salad master, some vacuum one and one more I can't recall at the moment, some diet slash health drink thing I think. One of the more disgusting things my father has done, I have also overheard him on many occasions, tout these health drinks as not only good for you, but he has quite literally made claims that they have eliminated serious diseases like cancer from people who have used the drinks in the past. I hate him for that because he's now inflicting his ignorance and false claims on other families in serious life or death situations. All it takes, if for the company, to have him watch some finely crafted video, which he then turns around and uses as proof within his sales pitch, and he's just as qualified as a seasoned doctor or medical expert. He doesn't give a fuck as long as he makes his sale. Each one, when joined, was going to lead him to the promised land of riches. Each one was used to alienate all of his friends and family, to the point of literally being the cause of strife in other people's marriages pressuring one or both partners to join or spend their time and energy spreading the gospel in their social circles slash communities, sometimes overseas etc. Every time he reaches out to people, even for what masquerades as an innocent call, friends and family immediately think to themselves what are you selling now, as told to me by my godfather, who has also decided to cut contact with this maniac. Cousins, aunts, uncles from Asia to Europe have all been hit up and pestered by my father to the point where they now avoid his calls. I can imagine that when his name shows up on their phones, they have to be wondering what the sales pitch is going to be, what life-saving product is it going to be this time. This business has even made my father leverage his fatherhood or position in the family dynamic to dip into my older brother's life savings to the tune of around $100k+. Plus. His son, my older brother, is also on no slash minimal contact basis with my father. I know what you're thinking, Pops is just bad with money, he would have likely been in a bad situation, even if MLMs didn't enter the picture. Well, you're likely right, this is just my slash his version of the wreckage MLMs can cause, and in this case what MLMs can do when they bump into someone like my father. I'm under no impression that he is the only one of his kind out there. Each one was the truth, each one was a sure bet to riches, and you were quite literally an idiot if you didn't rush to join him in yet another grand scheme to success. Each new scheme was a lottery ticket that most people were too stupid to sign in his mind. What's more, these scams, one after another, over many years have cost him all of his and my mother's savings, drove them into deep debt, about dollar sign 400k plus last heard credit annihilated over the years, which led them to having to sell their house, a house that my servant-like mother worked as a nurse for about 40 years to pay for, with little help from him, and now are renting an apartment, which is also solely paid for by her pension. He's got absolutely nothing, and the almost comically ironic pairing of someone who is famously bad with money, a typical high-pressure slimy car salesman type personality, and the be the virus which preys on your social circle, network, family, and friends nature of MLM slash pyramid schemes, is just a perfect disaster, the fallout of which is still being dealt with by 270 plus year old retirees, one of which is too ignorant and self-absorbed to, still, 
not let go of the MLM dream. Personal relationships, family, friends be damned. I'm going into detail with this because I want people to know of the extent that these schemes can destroy people and by the very nature of a person having to leverage and exploit their relationships slash friends slash family as a means to grow the business and sell more product, destroy the people around them. Dozens of people have been caught up in the web of my father's MLM scams. They were either convinced by his tactics or simply bought into the cell themselves, invested ungodly amounts of time, money, and effort only to give up themselves and get left with nothing as well. Also, the cherry on top, he recently was scammed out of, from what I heard in terms of amount, about dollar sign 40k buy, and I'm not fucking kidding you, by some African money investment scam. Oh and yup, he drew my mother into that one too. Complete. Fucking. Mark. If MLM schemes worked for you then great, I'm not going to waste my effort trying to argue with you, great, congratulations, fantastic, stupendous. But, after seeing the irony of my already detestable father, history of severe emotional and physical abuse, bumping into a line of work that essentially requires you to enact a parasitic approach to curry up sales, I have to bring to light how disastrous MLMs can be to not only the person who is in the MLM themselves. Please, if you already weren't weary, use my example above to stay the hell away from MLMs or any business that has that sort of get your friends involved model. It was a big part of what destroyed my family. Most of the time when a place offers a free item it's not worth the time to stand in the insane line with the other people lining up for the same thing. For example, yesterday Little Caesars had a free pizza deal from March Madness I think, and the line at the one near my job literally had 50 plus people and then some. I would rather pay $5 for the pizza and not wait in that bullshit than wait for a ref tier pizza. Usually it's food related, but yeah free shit isn't worth your time 99% of the time. There are some people, a good percentage, that have a hang up about free, and they cannot say no, it is weird. You have a message from the informative dude. Like and subscribe, to not things that aren't worth it.